all right guys so welcome back to the channel once again and today i'm going to show you like a uh, new feature into the grape js like new customization so today we're going to talk about this toolbar okay so how we can add the toolbar and how we can customize it and how we can add the commands on that tool icon and how we can use that so let's suppose like this is my selected item and you can use that toolbar like a specific element like if you have selected this element then you can add the toolbar on that or on this as well so i'm going to add a toolbar inside this element only okay so let's add it so first i'm going to take an instance of the selected element so let's const a equals to enter dot get selected okay so this is you can see a equals to get selected so this is this instance gonna return we all all the information about this element which i have been selected over here so you can see the nested elements inside of that all the related function of this selected elements everything so i'm not going to deeper into that but i'm going to tell you only about how we can set the toolbar so what i'm going to do cb equals to a dot get Toolbar. Okay. So sorry, I misspelled this. Okay. So if I type TB, so you can see there are four elements inside this array. Okay. And each and every object have their attribute like class, Fafa arrow up, and command. So if you see Fafa arrow up, which means like this icon, and when you click on this, it will run this command and it will take you on the parent element of this selected element okay same thing inside this attribute class papa arrows which means this and what you can do tlb move like toolbar move so you can move this element on select of this this icon okay same thing with the this copy element and delete element okay so this thing and we're gonna add another object inside this array and we're gonna set it inside this selected element and it's gonna create a new toolbar inside this selected element so just follow me and what we're gonna do we're gonna create an object on tlb setting i code equals to so this is the object right now inside this object so let me do shift enter okay so inside this object i'm going to add the attributes so give it inside this class and just add the class name alpha dot and title why I'm using this title because on the cover of that icon I want to show a tool tip over there so that's why I'm adding a title over here so title settings okay and next we're gonna add uh, command okay command would be setting click okay so this is our command and let's hit enter so our tb is tb plb setting ico so our object has been created already and now what we're gonna do tb dot push and inside this plb setting i flow and just push it so you can see the length is coming five so i have pushed the a new toolbar inside this array and now we're going to set it so a dot set toolbar comma tv okay so if you hit enter so you have already now you have set the new tool icon inside this selected element so if i select on another element and again i select it so you can see the setting icon is coming over here so new tool tool icon is coming over here and if i click on it so you can see setting click icon is not found over here just because we i haven't added this command inside the editor so for doing that like do editor 
dot commands dot add and just add the command like mm, sorry setting click so this is the command and inside this object what i'm going to do i'm going to add a run function run editor comma sender and just have and this and do console dot log and what i'm going to do i'm going to type a string over here hi i am in setting play command okay so just had to hit enter and what i'm going to do if i'm clicking on it so you can see this what i have written over here it's coming like this console.log is logging this string over here so whenever i will hit this command gonna run and on run of this command this console log will show us this string okay so that's the thing happening and that's how you can add a custom tool icon and you can perform whatever you want to do inside your app or something whatever you are making for your project so that's the how you can do and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe the channel that's it from this video and thank you so much guys thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe the channel